Federal agents now guard the rural Maryland property that has been used as a retreat for Russian diplomats for decades. The Obama administration slammed the doors shut at the compound in Centerville as punishment for Russian tampering in the 2016 presidential election. Kimberly Eaton traveled to Queen Anne's County where residents wonder if it will ever open again. This is as close as you can get to the Russian compound now, once a country retreat and now gated and guarded by the feds. A business card and a blue striped shirt. The colors all faded out in it, but this is the classic Russian shirt. Memories in physical like form of a passing encounter in a Centerville bar decades ago. He left the bar and went into the restroom, and I just thought he was using the restroom. He came back out without a shirt on. He had folded this shirt up and he handed it to me. He said, Here. The shirt still lives in Michael Whitehill's home. Months after political controversy drove its Russian owner and his colleagues out of the small Maryland town. We didn't know that particularly, it didn't particularly care whether they were doing any kind of, you know, espionage or anything cool like that. Last year, President Obama evicted the Russian diplomats and intelligence officers who once used a 45-acre compound on Maryland's eastern shore as a country retreat. Now it's under American watch. When you search for the property online, this is what comes up permanently closed. A punishment after accusations of tampering in the American presidential election. With a new leader in the country's top office, talks that the hidden property might return to its old owners. Wouldn't it be nice if we actually got along with Russia? International controversy still brewing on Capitol Hill. Well, this hideaway stays empty. It's very neat, and for a very small town, to have something uh, of, of sort of uh, global significance. And as for what happens next, Whitehill says he'd like to see the doors open again. In Centerville, I'm Kimberly Eaton, WJZ Eyewitness News. Federal agents also seized a Russian-owned property in New York last year.